Huge crash here at Watkins Glen. Heavy contact. Jeff Gordon involved. Jeff Burton is there. Heavy hit by the 77 car. Sam Hornish, he is out of his car. Jeff Gordon is yet to come out now. He is climbing out of the car. I say we're done for the day. It's a very fast part of the racetrack. As you come out of turn nine, you're wide open. Anything happens, there's, there is room to avoid it, but obviously these guys were in a position uh, not to do that. And Sam Hornish's out, car taking out. a huge lick. All of these guys are out of the car. That's a good thing. See, we saw Jeff Burton on the other side of the guardrail. So I'll show you what happened here a moment ago on lap 61. Here's Sam Hornish racing with Casey Kane as they come out of the corner. Oh, looks like yep. Casey got loose and tried yep. to correct it. Got into Sam and goodness gracious. What just a as we saw the other day. Wow. Huge lick by Jeff Gordon. It's good to see him get out of his car and Sam Hornish. Both of those cars hit really? extremely hard on that second impact. Gordon head on into the Armco barrier. We saw this happen with Jason Leftworth's car the other day get thrown back and wow. Jeff Gordon wide open, nowhere to go. It's good to see those guys get out of the car. Joey Logano just missing the inside of the 77 car when he came by. Right along with Jeff Gordon here. Be ready, folks. This is hard. Ooh. And just no time to do anything. And there's no safer barrier there. That's just an Armco barrier, steel barrier. Fortunately, Jeff able to get the helmet off and walk away. Hard, hard lick here. Yeah, tough day for you. Here are the drivers now involved in the crash. Jeff Gordon, Sam Hornish, Jeff Burton, the three primary ones. Uh, Andy Lally got some damage. Casey Kane was slid off the track and initiated that when the car got loose. And Joey Logano got some sheet metal damage trying to get by the inside of Sam Hornish. Now let's update the pit stop strategy here. We were talking about Marcus Ambrose and when he might have come in, but he actually did come down pit road on lap 55. Yeah, he snuck in there. <laughs> Dale and I missed it. He came in under green, made his stop with 55 to go, which is exactly what he needed to do. And he only took on fuel. That's why he was in and out really quick. He's put himself now in the top five and not having to make another pit stop. So he is in a great position now to get a good finish. The only car that's on the track that has to make another stop is Scott Speed. He's going to be shown as the leader, but he'll have to make one more stop. Yeah, and I apologize to those guys for questioning yeah. their strategy. They're on top of it. Uh, got lost in the race there for a minute. So uh, they've got a chance to win this race today. We are under caution for the fourth time a day here at the hell of a good at the Glen. A heavy crash out of turn nine. Back in a moment. A massive cleanup project underway there on the uh, back straightaway here again on lap uh, 63. Six cars involved in what was a grinding crash. Now watch Casey Kane's car get loose and coming to the side of Sam Hornish. Yes, they exit turn nine here. Watch Casey's car back in, step out right there. He has to correct, gets into the left, right front of Sam Hornish, sends him into the tire barrier right here, and that launches him right back in front of Jeff Gordon. Huge impact, and then he gets hit by Jeff, or Sam Hornish gets hit by Jeff Burton again. That's just as violent a crash as you're going to see on a road course. Wow. Man. So 31 car come around. Look at Logano. He bounces off the, the inside barrier. It knocked a fuel cell out of Sam Hornish's car, Andy. Yeah, he hit here with the front end. It just launches this car up in the air. Jeff Gordon is completely blindsided here, nowhere to go, and he hits Look hard. Now watch this. Oh, my goodness. You can see the fuel cell fuel. and the whole rear clip right here coming off of Sam Hornish's car. Wow. Wow. You know, we've said a lot of things about these cars, but uh, we can't say enough about the safety aspect of them. You see a lot of those parts flying, even the rear clip frame section. None of that hurts the driver. The driver's compartment is, a, is the strongest part of this vehicle, and, and losing these parts is really not a bad thing as far as the driver inside that car. You just don't want those things flying around hitting somebody else, but... Uh, good to see that the driver's compartment stayed uh, intact and everybody's okay. There were six cars involved. Those three were the most heavily damaged. Andy Lally still on the racetrack. Joey Logano, as is Casey Kane in the nine car. Let's listen in. Dang it, I got loose. 
I got loose and just shot him off track with the back of my car. That was my fault. Sorry about that, Sam. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't think he knew I was under him because I, I was up and then he came shooting back down on the left side of me. And then he kind of turned away and I just got loose. Spun into him sideways kind of. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It didn't look like anything intentional by no means, but it still caused a no, and there's nothing. Wreck. Yeah, there's nothing Casey Kane can do. He has to correct his car, uh, so just unfortunate. Well, we mentioned that the Marcus Ambrose has pitted, is in fourth position, in position possibly to win this thing. Let's talk to his crew chief, Vince. Well, the 47 team's had a thirsty drive.